Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to think like a programmer, logic and pseudocode. The first thing you should understand is that the computer is dumb. It does everything you tell it to, quite literally. To give you an example, let's say we want to display some data. The first step would be listening for user input. Uh, it could be a button that was pressed on your keyboard or uh, your mouse, a left click or a right click, for example. The second step would be storing the data in the RAM, which would then uh, store this data in the storage. This saves the data for future use. Now your computer has to choose where to display the data that you have. Let's say, for example, the data is a text message that you received. It should be displayed in the message bubble inside the messaging app. After choosing where to display the data, the RAM retrieves it from the storage and then it is displayed. This is a simple example, yet as a programmer, you are responsible for every action your computer takes when your program is running. Things can get very complex and confusing very fast, especially for beginners. Which is why I want you to keep these three core concepts in mind when programming. Creation, manipulation, and display. Now you're gonna see on the screen uh, the same code written in different languages. The creation, manipulation, and display are all there, regardless of the syntax. This example is in C++, and this one is in C. This is another uh, simple example in Java. And this is a complex example in Python, which shows that uh, no matter how complex uh, your program is, uh, all three core concepts are still there. With that in mind, we're gonna move over to the second part of this video, which is pseudocode. Pseudocode is essentially writing your code, but in plain English. Let's take this example. We're gonna take an input from the user, which is a number, double it, and then display our results. We're gonna start by applying the first concept we talked about, which is creation. The steps that our program takes are taking input from the user. Now this step is gonna require a variable or a container to uh, save this input that we took. The second step is taking uh, the user's input and doing some manipulation on it. In this case, is doubling the number that we got from the user. This will also require a second variable or container to actually store the result of uh, the manipulation that we did. The final step is displaying our result. Now here we don't need a third variable or container, we can use the second one that we created, which is uh, our result from the manipulation phase. So in total we're gonna need two variables or uh, containers. The first one will uh, be named number and the second one will be named result. Now we're gonna display a message for the user, telling them to enter a number. We're gonna now take the input from the user, and then store it in the number variable. After that, we can take the value inside of number, double it, and then store it inside of result. And lastly, we display the contents of the result variable. And there we go. This is the pseudocode of this exercise. All you have to do now is convert it into the language you code in.